Hi, my name is Cameron Burke. I'm a sophomore at the University of Maryland College Park, majoring in Neurobiology and Physiology, and I'm pre-med. Hi, my name is Akeem Henry. I'm a sophomore here at the University of Maryland College Park, and I'm a public health science major on the pre-med track. We talked about our background information in our past videos, so you guys can go and check it out to get some more information about us. However, today we're talking about SNDEP Duke. SNDEP is a free six-week program for freshmen and sophomores who are interested in medicine or dentistry and also who identifies with a group that is racially or ethnically underrepresented in medicine or dentistry and comes from an economically or educationally disadvantaged background or had de demonstrated an interest in issues with underserved populations. The SNDP program is at 12 sites across the country. Some include Yale University School of Medicine, Columbia College of Physicians and Surgeons, and where we did it, at Duke University School of Medicine. We first found out about the program our senior year in high school. We were doing a little bit of research on the internet and we came across it. And we decided definitely after our freshman year of college we would want to do it. To be eligible for SMDEP, an applicant must be a college freshman or sophomore, have an overall GPA of a 2.5, and be a U.S. citizen or hold a permanent resident area. The application is due March 1st, so you should definitely apply if you're interested. When you fill out the SMDEP application, you can apply to up to three sites. Akeem and I both got into the Duke University School of Medicine SMDEP site, so we decided to both go there and do the program together. Before we got on campus, it was some prepping work that we had to do. The school called us to find out what classes we were taking. Before I went to Duke, I took uh, General Chemistry 1 and I took Calculus, so they wanted to make sure I got those classes out the way before I got there to take Organic Chemistry and Physics when I got there. When we arrived in June, we stayed at one of the undergraduate residence halls, one of the newer undergraduate residence halls um, at Duke. During that day, um, I got my books, we got our books, we got accustomed to the campus, we had our TAs and RAs who are actually medical students there at the campus, so it was good to get those connections there. They were able to take us around to the medical school and show us the hospital, show us where our classes were so we can get accustomed to the campus, you know, seeing the gym and different things like that as well. And that night we had our white coat ceremony where we got our white coats that we're going to be actually using during our uh, clinical rotations. So Monday through Friday during the program we had classes. Uh, there were general classes that everyone took, some of which included uh, health ethics, health disparities. Um, we also took a class called writing and medical education um, and that was a writing course where we worked on our personal statement um, that we would use when we applied to uh, medical or dental school. And then we also took a class called standardized patient where, we, where actors came in um, and they portrayed a role of a patient and we had to act as the doctor, um, talking with them and helping them through their problems. As I said before, I took organic chemistry and I took physics there while I was at Duke. It was definitely a great experience. It helped enrich me and gave me knowledge that I never knew before and helped prep me for the classes that I was going to take in the fall when I got back to my University of Maryland. And so I took organic. It helped give me confidence. Because, like, you know, a lot of people, you know, know that organic chemistry is a challenging subject in which a lot of people, you know, have troubles with. So it definitely gave me the wills that I needed and the, the tools that I needed to be confident enough to do well in organic chemistry, and I did well in organic chemistry. The classes that I took um, at Duke during the program, I took physics with a physicist at Duke University, and then I also took a physiology class with a pediatric cardiologist and actually the dean of admissions for Duke University School of Medicine. Um, the classes were definitely challenging. Um, we definitely had to study and do different things to prepare for the class. Um, but that rigorous environment helped to prepare me going back into um, college in the fall um, and keeping that intellectual and academic mindset of working hard throughout the summer so I didn't lose any of that at all. Um, and it was definitely, it was definitely a rewarding experience and keeping sharp and, and staying motivated for sure. 
they definitely kept us on our toes. They kept us motivated and let us know what exactly we needed to do to succeed in the fall when we got back to our universities. While at Duke, we had a lot of things to do. Every single day was something to do. Um, we had a strict schedule. We woke up at 8 a.m. in the morning, greeted with nice southern hospitality. We had breakfast made for us every morning, and it was great food. And then we had class until around 12, and then at 12 we would have a lunch break. Uh, we were all provided with meal cards that we could use on the, on the campus for various eateries and restaurants. After our hour lunch break, we had class until the afternoon, and then we had dinner provided for us um, at 5.30. After dinner, we had these special sessions where we had guest speakers come in. There were doctors, physicians, and, and even a news anchor came in and spoke to us. But um, during these times, it was a nice way to get insight into seeing and hearing about what these professionals do during a day-to-day -day living and, you know, to see if we're interested in those specialties. And it was actually, actually interesting to see that one of our SMDEP cohorts, some of them converted. We had some people that were interested in medicine initially going into SMDEP. But then after hearing the session and experiencing SMDP, they were like, hmm, dentistry is pretty cool. So it was nice to see that people were expanding their horizons. And not only that, people that were interested in medicine before going to SMDP, even that's SMDP and going to these sessions solidified that notion. Yeah, another option or another thing we did um, in the evening was clinical rotations. So once a week we were scheduled to have clinical rotations in the Duke University Hospital. We were, had the opportunity to shadow in various departments such as the emergency department, uh, the neonatal intensive care unit, uh, the surgical intensive care unit, uh, as well as others. Uh, additionally, if you had extra time on your hands, you could schedule to shadow a physician um, that, for a specialty that you're interested in. So for example, um, I'm interested in plastic surgery, so I sought out the opportunity while I was there to shadow a plastic surgeon. And it was such a rewarding experience. I got to visit him and shadow him in the operating room while he was performing a few interesting surgeries. And not only that, that when I was on my surgical, when I was on my uh, clinical rotations, I got to see a C-section. I've never seen that before, so that was pretty cool. Not only was SMDP an academic experience, we also had the opportunity to have fun and enjoy ourselves. For example, every Friday night we would play a soccer game, and during the week we'd go to the gym and have fun and relax a little bit. On the weekends, we had the chance to go on some trips. For example, we went to the water park, uh, went to the movies, um, as well as some other fun places to have a good time. At SMDP, we met so many people. We met so many pe like-minded people, folks that had the same interests as us, that wanted to pursue medicine and want to go into healthcare and solve healthcare disparities. I met my roommate who's from Puerto Rico. So now it's crazy because now I have connections in Puerto Rico. I've never even been there before. He even said that, you know, came hit me up when you come to Puerto Rico. I got you. I'm going to pick you up from the airport. So it's so cool that now that we built those connections and we establish these relationships with the people that we can sustain now. We have a group meet where all of us are inside the group meet still to this day. And we all communicate and share different opportunities with one another about different things in medicine. Um, so it's definitely, I would recommend this program to anyone that's interested in pursuing medicine or dentistry or want to treat healthcare disparities. It was awesome and very rewarding and you can definitely achieve your dreams of becoming whatever you want to be. Yeah, like Akeem said, it was really just an amazing opportunity. Uh, we always look back and reflect on it and, and really just think about how great of, of an experience it was and what a, what a big impact it had on us and, and helping us to motivate, to stay motivated um, and to pursuing our, and our dreams. So if you want to learn more about this amazing program, you should log on to www.smdp.org so you can have the opportunity to experience this amazing program for yourself. Thank you. Yeah. Hey. Sorry.